Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I was just doing my dishes. I just went to Walmart and I was like, you know, I'm really in the mood for a steak. So I found one of the cheaper steaks I could find and I'm gonna cook it up and I'm gonna make it taste amazing. But to be honest, I'm a little lazy right now. I don't feel like cooking it. So I'm gonna have my personal chef come and cook it for me. My personal chef right here. I am not your personal chef. I am your roommate. <laughs> he's my roommate and he's a really good cook. So he's gonna, he's gonna whip up this steak right now. Let's get it going. Yes, sir. So here we got our steaks. and I'm gonna let him take over, explain what we got here. So, on the left, we got ribeye, it's about one pound. And on the right, we got a picanha. I have no idea how much this weighs. And picanha, where would you say that originates from? The name sounds very uh, Latin, if you will. It is a Brazilian. Brazilian? Kind of I believe, I believe. That must be a thick kind of meat, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now what? We got the meat? <laughs> What's the first step? All right, so the first step is gonna be seasoning your meats. So we seasoned, I think we seasoned that meat pretty well. What is the next step, sir? The next step would be a flip it. And do it again. <laughs> Very seasoned piece of meat. So what's the next step that we're gonna take now in this adventure? All right, so now we're gonna heat up the pan. We're gonna add some butter to it. Butter? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I could use instead of butter? Do you think I could use coconut oil instead of butter? I believe you can. Really, I'll go get some. Wow, it's right here. Wow. Let's use it. Let's do it. Does it matter what temperature we cook the steak at? Well, I usually prefer cooking it on medium to high. So we're gonna keep it right Nice. Yeah. All right, so I measured out a little bit of this uh, coconut oil and I put it on the hot pan. You see now that it's smoking? You see that, Marlon? I see that, yes. We're gonna take our ribeye, our piece of meat, <laughs> and we're gonna slap it on there. Isn't that pretty? And now we're gonna let that go for a couple minutes and then give it a flip. Okay, so this thing's been on here for about seven minutes. So yeah, it's been about seven minutes. We're gonna take it off now. We're gonna check the internal temperature and then we'll see if we can select it. So we took the steak off the pan, and now we let it rest for five minutes with some rosemary on top, and that's just so that the juices, when you cut into it, won't be running out. So you ready to eat? Oh, am I? I'm starved. <laughs> he got so tall up in his face. Oh, what are we thinking? Yeah, that's actually fire. <laughs> that's fire. Yes, sir. Wow. Here. Everybody eats. So, you want a piece? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, I definitely couldn't have cooked steak like that. And I'm lucky I got my own personal chef, roommate, roommate to cook me these steaks. So guys, check out his cooking channel. He's got TikTok, Instagram, maybe YouTube coming soon. So check it out. Cooks that gas. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. 
I'm gonna finish the steak. See you in the next one. Love you.